this is the natural light we're going to be getting. Oh, right. No, After... it's it's such a nice space. All right, you guys remember last time we did a video, we talked about the secure vestibule that you'll be walking through to get to our main office, which you see us standing in here now. We've got casing going up. We've got our a desk that you will be checking in with the main office secretary uh, so that you can get uh, familiar with where you're going and walk down this hallway. And then we will arrive at our attendance office over here. And then right after this space, you'll go right to our counseling center where you can meet with our counselors and, and get the resources that you need. And right after that, that's that family engagement center that I am so super thrilled about. Sarah, welcome to a large gathering space in your main office where family community engagement or face right. comes together to help you better serve your students yeah. tell me a little bit about what you're thinking you're going to do with this great space this is a great opportunity that we can engage our families with our students so that we can start to bridge that gap between community and families with what we have going on in the building through our education so to share a little bit about the graphics you may remember just a few months ago, the community, the staff, the students all voted on what kind of graphic we wanted in the building. Uh, you guys voted on Voyage of Discovery. Voyage of Discovery sparked the interest that we have on what's going up on the walls. So we've decided to do a series of macro to micro concepts. Uh, our macro is a picture of the universe and it's 60 feet long. It's huge. It's going up in our dining hall area. And then we go down to the micro level where we're doing microscopic images and pictures through like a science lens. Uh, that will be in the library. So all the way from the dining hall to the library, we're doing macro to micro. Right there in the center, we're going to have another huge mural of what's in between macro and micro, which is Utah. We're gonna have a mural of Utah. But all of our concepts, all of the designs are going to spark curiosity because they have data involved in them. They've got information that you can extract from them. They are related to math, engineering, science, technology. Um, we're going to even have some sort of a scavenger hunt where you can go to each area and look at the concepts or the graphics and learn from them. See if you can discover some really cool things there. So this space has really taken off. We see a lot of drywall up, paint, we've got tile. Yeah. Um, it's been a, a huge progress since last time we've seen it. It really has. I think if you went back to your older video, it felt like a building under construction, but now we're starting to see you know, what our students are going to be in every day. Nice right. tile, nice paint, great light. You're starting to see the ceilings get painted. The lighting is starting to come in. Mm -hmm. uh, this is their main hallway. Each and every kid that goes to this school will always remember something that happened in your main hallway. And I know a lot of the community members have seen pictures of the interior design yeah. where we see a lot of the hexagons and the bright colors through um, sunrises um, that will all be in this space as well yeah I, i'll tell you what we didn't plan this but there's one of the <laughs> hexagons that will be part yeah. of the ceiling that hexagon oh uh, helping to portray you know kind of the stem aspect yeah. the science the technology the different shapes that we see in minerals the different okay. shapes that we see in dna all of that's going to be reflected to some degree in the visuals that you've chosen as a principal to be in your school. Yeah. And absolutely. they will be on full display in the main entry. Absolutely. Right here in our main hallway, we've got a couple of display cases and areas for additional monitors. So we'll have a lot of space for student artwork. We'll also have uh, TVs to be able to display our Mustang media and all the other cool things that our students are doing. So Sarah, we're coming up the learning stairs right now. Great place to have almost a little mini auditorium experience. A great place for students maybe to present out their work. Up here, a 120 inch screen, plenty of technology to make this functional for presentation projects, but maybe they want to do some independent study. A great space mm -hmm. where if you're uh, trying to, to, to gather kids together, but you need good um, visual on them, this is a place that I'd bring them to kind of work through 
some individual group projects in a slightly different setting. We've actually talked about using this space for some demonstrations, for some STEM challenges. Oh, right. So, yeah. That is perfect. The great use yeah. of the space. As Exciting. our kids are building and creating and exploring, this would be a really good place to make it public and also to be able to demonstrate their learning. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So these science rooms, they're almost finished. Look at how close we are. We've got all this cabinetry in. We've got our lab tables up. And our science department is extremely excited about their legacy project and continuing that, but more problem-based learning and implementing that with this new lab equipment. So these two spaces here, this is the think tank and this is the breakout room. We're mm -hmm. gonna have a large conference table in here and a smaller conference table over there. So students can work collaboratively on a project or maybe a concept that they're working on. Um, but it'll be a student space that you can still see from the classrooms and see from these big um, open hallways uh, that students can work in. Oh, it's a great place for them to get together, like you say, collaborate, share ideas, even get excited about a project, but mm -hmm. in a way that's not going to disrupt the rest of the classes. Soccer and spring sports, they'll take off. I feel like yeah. we've been a little bit confined and we've just got a, a wonderful space facility to really build on those sports. I really like the thought of teachers being able to observe each other at any moment because that is one of the things that builds capacity the most is when you're able to see other teachers mm -hmm. um, doing great things. You learn from each other, you steal from each other, you, you know, um, you share ideas and this is a one great way to do that without having to get a sub to go observe someone. You really can just look through the garage door across the hallway. Well, can you believe it, you guys? In just a couple months, we will be moving back here to our community, to this wonderful new building. I can't wait.